The dial pad can be used to dial a phone number but is not required to be open to type in numbers in the quick dialer. When using the Connect client, users do not need to add the 9 before the number or the 1 for long distance. The dial pad is also used for DTMF or the sounds numbers make on a phone. The quick dialer search bar can be used to search for a name, number, or company name within the system directory or Outlook contacts. Once the contact is visible, double-click the contact to call. A single click will open the contact pane and will not place a call until the green phone icon is selected. If the user wants to be able to see all numbers attached to the contact, right-click and select Show Phone Number. With the number showing, users can select what number they want to call by clicking on the number. Users can also type in a phone number or copy and paste numbers into the quick dialer to make calls. When a contact is selected, the contact information pane will open. The contact pane for other users on the system will show availability state, extension, and phone number of the users. For outside contacts, just the phone number is visible. In the contact pane, users can see interactions with that user or contact, including info, messages, calls, and voicemail. The user will also see options for interactions. Users can choose to dial, share screen, dial mailbox, access voicemail, and alert when available. Alert when available allows users to tag another user that is currently on the phone or in an availability state other than available. When the user becomes available, the system will send a notification stating the time they became available. Select the User Profile tab to view or edit your profile information. You can add your LinkedIn profile picture as your Connect Client profile picture. If the Connect Client is integrated with Microsoft Exchange, it imports your Active Directory picture which is associated with the Outlook. The Active Directory picture takes precedence over the LinkedIn profile picture. You can edit or remove the profile picture if you use your LinkedIn profile picture. However, if you use your Active Directory picture, you cannot edit or remove it. In the User Profile page, users can select the sprocket on the right-hand corner to access the client settings. The Primary Assignment section in the User's Profile shows what the user is currently using to receive calls. When assigned to a physical phone, the Desk Phone icon will show and Desk Phone option will be selected in the User Profile. When using soft phone, the soft phone icon will appear and soft phone will be selected. When externally assigned, the external assignment icon will appear and external assignment will be selected. If the user has soft phone enabled, the soft phone can be selected under the primary assignment. Use the drop down to select the device to be used for communication. Soft phone allows user to use a headset with a microphone to answer and place calls using the software only. If extension assignment is allowed, users will see the external assignment option. To add a number, select external assignment. Add a label and the full phone number. Select the number of rings to try at that number before the system pulls the call back. The last step is to select to automatically connect or press one to connect. The automatically connect option means as soon as the call is answered, the system will connect the call. The system cannot tell the difference between a live answer and a voicemail. Users that do not want callers to reach their cellular phone voicemail need to use the Press 1 to connect. The Press 1 to connect means the system does not connect the call until it receives a 1 for the user. The system will give an audible message stating caller ID and to press 1. Select Add and the extension is now externally assigned. The My Conference section can be used to add a reservation list conference if conferencing is enabled. To add a new conference bridge, click Add New Conference Bridge. In the Add New Conference Bridge pop-up window, enter the name of the conference in the Name field and Add Organizer code. In the More Settings section, set a password for the conference by enabling the Protect Meeting with Password option and entering a password. In the Participants section, users can select Announce the arrival of a participant on the conference call. Select the Announce when participants arrive option and select either Play a simple audio tone, 
prompt participant to record their name or announce when they try to join and leave the meeting. To mute all participants joining the conference call, select the Mute Participants on Entry option. To display the names of all participants who have joined the conference, select Show Everyone's Name to All Participants option. In the When Dialing Out to Participants section, select one of the following options. Must press 1 to enter audio portion of the meeting. Participants are automatically added to the audio portion of the meeting. Select Add. Reservation list conferences can be started at any time. Users can choose to join, screen share, or call in. The availability icon shows the current state of the user and allows users to change the state of the phone using the drop-down. All availability states have a custom prompt that can be recorded on the settings page. The user can add availability state notes by selecting the state in the drop-down and using the pencil icon. Availability notes will be visible to other users on the system. Use the Contacts badge to view your contacts, add a new contact, create groups, and add contacts to favorites or groups. To add a contact as a favorite, type the contact's name in the Quick Search dialer. Next to the contact's name, select the star icon. The contact has now been added to your favorites. To add a new contact, select the Add icon and Add Contact. If you are integrated with Outlook, an Outlook contact will open to create the contact. If you are not using Outlook, a Connect contact will open. By selecting the Sort button, users can choose how contacts are sorted with the options of Last Name, First Name, Availability, and Last Contact. The Show section allows users to choose what is being displayed next to a contact. Show options are Company Name, Department, and Phone Number. Change View allows users to change the view in the Contacts page. Options are List View or Compact View. List shows more detail, and Compact allows for more contacts in a smaller area. Favorites and groups can be searched using the search bar. Search by first name, last name, or phone number. Favorites allows users to see the availability of a contact in the list and if the contact is on the phone for system contacts only. Single click for contact pane or double click to call contact. Right clicking on a contact gives users the options to add contact to a group send voicemail, send IM, schedule conference, dial, and alert when available. Groups allows users to make personal groups for interaction. To create a group, select the Add icon and select Add Group. Name the group and drag or type the contact name. Once all contacts for the group have been added, select Create. Users have the same options in groups as favorites for calling and the right-click options. When the group is opened, users can choose to interact with the group. Options for interactions are instant messaging the group, scheduling a meeting with the group, and sending the group a voicemail. Groups can be collapsed or expanded by clicking the up or down arrow. Groups are sorted alphabetically by default, but can be moved up or down by dragging the group up or down. Users can pin pages to keep them open along with the main dashboard. Users can select a recent call, then double-click and the system will call that number back. Use the Voicemails badge to view your unheard, saved, and deleted voicemails. The badge on the Voicemails tab indicates the number of unheard voicemail messages. To listen to a voicemail, select the voicemail to be listened to. This will open the Voicemail Options and Contact pane. Select the green Play button to listen to the voicemail or the green phone icon to call back. Date and time of the voicemail will be visible as well as duration of the voicemail. Voicemails are set to play through a user's phone. Users can select PC Speaks for Playback by selecting the speaker icon. When listening to a voicemail, the audio can be moved forward or backwards by clicking on the section to be listened to. Users can select to reply, forward, save, or delete the voicemail. The reply option will only appear for other users on the system. 
When reply is used, it is sending a voicemail to the user that left the original voicemail. A subject can be added, which will appear on the Connect client, phone, and email notifications. Other users can be added to receive the voicemail in addition to the original caller. Select the record button to record the voicemail response. The default microphone is set to the user's phone, but can be changed to the PC microphone by selecting the speaker icon. Users have the option to tag the voicemail as urgent, private, or receipt, and can include the original voicemail. Urgent flags the voicemail as urgent in the connect client, phone, and emails of another user. Private will add a prompt in front of all recordings to indicate the message is private and will not allow for forwarding or downloading of the voicemail. Receipt sends a voicemail indicator to the sender once the voicemail has been listened to. Include original keeps the original voicemail attached to the reply. Forward allows users to forward voicemails to other users. Forwarded voicemails have the same options as reply, except include original. The recording made by the forwarder will play before the original voicemail. Save allows users to save messages and will appear in the saved section in voicemails and the main pane indicated with the saved icon. Delete puts the voicemails in a deleted folder. Users can restore the voicemail, but the voicemail must be restored before the folder is emptied, and the folder is emptied every morning. Right-clicking on a voicemail gives the users options to add contact to group, mark as unheard, save voicemail, edit voicemail subject, download voicemail as WAVE, copy voicemail ID to clipboard, and delete voicemail. Use the Messages badge to view your chat logs. Click any chat from the logs to open the conversation details in the third pane. The badge on the Messages tab indicates the number of unread messages. Use the Events badge to view your past and upcoming calendar appointments. To view your Outlook appointments, synchronize your Connect client with Microsoft Exchange. Users can schedule conference calls or new events by selecting the New Events icon. Name the event, select the date, time duration, and occurrence. Add location, attendees, and, if using the conference bridge for presenting, select Presenters. An agenda and overview can be added to the invite as well as files from Dropbox. The More Settings shows all other conferencing options. Once all desired information is filled in, select Create. The calendar icon allows users to select a specific date to view. Use the Workgroups badge to view active workgroup calls and the current workgroup state of the user. Workgroup agents and supervisors can log in and out of workgroups by selecting the Log In, Log Out. The workgroup badge will be red for logged out and green for logged in. When logged in, wrap-up will appear for groups with wrap-up enabled. The bell icon is for turning on and off audio alerts. Settings takes the user to the workgroup settings in their personal settings. The main workgroup pane will show all workgroups a user is a part of, how many calls are in queue, longest queued call, and longest call for all workgroups. The Show Workgroup Details icon, when selected, will show agents active calls in queue and voicemails of the workgroup. Supervisors will have an agent's view that shows them the statuses of agents in the workgroup. To view information about workgroups, you must be a member of a workgroup and have the appropriate license type. Users can change the view of the main dashboard by selecting the up or down arrow. The notification area below the main dashboard icons will show any active notifications for users. 
Users can select notifications to take them to the appropriate pane. Use the Connect dropdown at the top left of the client menu bar to view information about the Connect client, check for updates, open the settings page or window or preferences page for Mac OS, show or edit the toolbar, or set the Connect client to be on top while navigating through other applications. For Mac OS, this option is available in the Window tab on the Mac menu bar. Navigate to the MyTel support page. For Mac OS, this option is available in the Help tab on the Mac menu bar. This is applicable and only available to the MyCloud Connect users. Access the user guide and training videos. For Mac OS, this option is available in the Help tab on the Mac menu bar. Send log files to the MyTel support. For Mac OS, this option is available in the Help tab on the Mac menu bar. Exit the Connect client. Users can choose to show or edit toolbars that have been assigned to them by selecting Show Toolbar. This option only shows if the users have a toolbar assigned. If the toolbar is visible, users can select the plus icon or select Edit Toolbar in the Connect menu bar to select buttons they want to see. The toolbar can be used for quick actions like log in, log out of work groups, monitor extension, conferencing, transfers, and many more options. To place a call using the MyTel Connect client, users can use the Dial Pad, Quick Dialer, Contacts, and Recent. Users can use the Contact pane to place calls from favorites or groups. Double clicking on a contact will place a call. If the users have selected Show Number, they can select from the numbers attached to the contact. When a new call is presented to the users, they have two options to answer from the Connect client. When the call is answered from the client, if the user is using a physical phone as the audio path, the call will go to the default auto off hook selected by the user. The default setting for auto off hook is the speakerphone. Auto off hook can also be set to headset. The auto off hook setting is under options on the physical phone. The call can be answered using the call notification. They can select answer or ignore. The call can also be answered in the connect client notification section. The user can answer, send to voicemail, forward the call, and IM if the caller is a user on the system. If the notes and routing slip feature is turned on in settings, users will see both call notes and routing slip as the calls come in. When a user has a second call ringing in, they can send to voicemail or select answer. This will put the call the user is currently interacting with on hold. Users can unhold other calls at any time and the system will put an active call on hold. Once users have two calls, they can select Merge to merge the calls together. Once calls are merged, the user can use the Show List drop-down in the notifications to select a caller to drop from the call. In the notification area, the user has the option to hang up, put the call on hold, and mute. If the Routing Slip and Notes option is turned on, the users can see the routing slip and call notes. The routing slip shows all users that have handled the call. The call note allows for users to add notes to a call. Notes is not a reportable field on the system, so notes are meant for interaction with other users to pass along information. To add a note, select the note icon, then add the note to be attached to the call. The note icon will show a green check mark once a note has been attached. Users can see the green check mark for active and incoming calls. Using the MyTel Connect client allows users to call, transfer, conference, park, and more using only the client or in tandem with a physical phone. To start a transfer, select the transfer icon and type in the name or number to be transferred to. The user can select recent contact to select a user or number that the user has interacted with recently. Once the destination has been selected, user can select Transfer. For a blind transfer, Consultative Transfer, which allows the user to talk to the person being transferred to before sending the call, 
or consult, which puts the caller on hold and does not send the call until the user select transfer. If the user needs to cancel the consultative transfer, they simply end the call with the number being transferred to, which will bring the user back to the caller on hold. The intercom option will only show if intercom is allowed and only on internal calls. The user can park a call on another extension using the park icon. The parking options the user will see depends on how their system is set for parking. Users will always see the park option, but the park and page and park and intercom only appear if the user has access to perform those actions. The whisper option only appears if whisper is allowed for the users involved. The voicemail icon will send the caller directly to the voicemail of the user being transferred to. To add a participant to a call, first select the Add Participant icon. Then, type in the name or number to be added to the call. Select the recent contact to select a user or number that the user has interacted with recently. The user can select the type of conference. Users have two options for conferencing. Conference is a blind conference and will not notify others that the call is a conference call until the call is answered. Consult works just like Consult Transfer leaving the first call on hold until the users select Merge to bring all parties on to the same call. Once calls are merged, the user can use the Show List drop-down in the notifications to select a caller to drop from the call. Users only see actions they have rights to use. If they have video enabled, they will see the camera icon. This will start a video call with another user on the system. Video is only available when using the soft phone. The share screen will appear if the user has been given rights to use the MyTel Connect conference bridge with presentation enabled. To start a screen share, select the screen share icon. Select the screen to share. Users can share full screen, share area, or share window. This will open a conference and send a link to the other user if they are on the system. If the user wants to screen share with an outside party, they can use the info icon to get the meeting link. The user can pause or end screen share at any time. The move call icon will appear if the user has simultaneous ring setup or the mobility app setup. Move call allows users to move an active call to the other device. The three dots on the far right allows users to send the active call to voicemail, send the active call to the default attendant, or flag the call as a malicious call. Users can use the toolbar buttons for call actions. The programmed buttons will indicate the call action assigned to the button. If the button is set as a monitor or speed dial, the user can select the button after selecting the call action instead of using the type name or number field. All users can use the contacts pane to transfer calls. Operators will have more options than a base user. All users can simply click and drag an active call to a contact in the contact pane for a blind transfer. If the user hovers over the contact, other actions will appear. Base users get blind transfer, blind conference, and park. Operators will see the options blind transfer, consult transfer, intercom transfer, if intercom is turned on, blind conference, consult conference, intercom conference, Park, Park and Paging, if paging is being used, and Park and Intercom. Operators can be given delegation rights per user. Users can select to delegate in the Settings window in the Account section. Select Access, then type in the name of the user whose availability state you want to change. Only users with the Operator or Workgroup Supervisor license can change other users' availability states. To change the state of another user, once delegated, Right-click on the user in the Contacts pane. Change availability with the option shown on the bottom of the list and select the state desired. Once selected, the user's availability icon will change to the new state. To navigate to Settings options, users can use the Connect menu drop-down and select Settings. Settings can also be selected in the user profile by selecting the settings icon in the right corner. The account section shows the server and username that the user is currently connected to. A user can select to automatically launch MyTel Connect when starting the computer and change the client password. 
In the Access section, users can choose to send MyTel data and allow users to change availability states on your behalf. The AD Credentials option will only show information if Active Directory Login has been enabled by your administrator. Call routing is the section where the user can record or edit voicemail prompts and select the parameters for availability states. Users can choose what state they want to configure using the drop-down next to When. The drop-down will show all availability states and the color associated with them. All availability states, except Do Not Disturb, have a custom voicemail prompt. Do Not Disturb uses the prompt for Available. Once the state has been selected, users can use the Start Wizard or select the section to be edited. The first section is for setting up simultaneous ring. This is when the user's desk phone and cell phone or other number ring at the same time for calls. Only external numbers can be used, not other extensions. If the user has mobility set up, they will see a mobility extension listed. If the user wants to set up simultaneous ring, use the drop-down to select a phone number that has already been created or add the phone number you would like to use. Make sure to select how many rings and press 1 or automatically connect. Find Me allows callers that go to voicemail to press 1 and have the system reach out to up to two numbers or automatically reach out before voicemail. Users can disable or enable Find Me. Find Me settings allows users to select options for Find Me. The options are ring my Find Me number sequentially before playing my voicemail, prompt the caller to record name, or play voicemail first and prompt the caller to record name. Once settings are selected, choose the number or numbers for the Find Me. To record a custom prompt, select the Record New Greeting button. By default, the microphone being used is the user's phone. Users can use a PC microphone by selecting the speaker icon. The recording can be stopped or played back if the recording is not correct. Simply press the Record button to re-record. Once the prompt is correct, select Save Recording. To record a custom greeting for any state, put yourself in that state and then go to Voicemail Greeting option. The recording will be played only when the user's phone is in the state being configured. The last section in the configuration is Callers are allowed to leave a voicemail. If Yes is selected, callers will hear the prompt and be allowed to leave a voicemail. If No is selected, no callers will hear the prompt and will not be allowed to leave a voicemail. The If Callers Press Zero option allows users to choose what happens when a caller presses zero in a voicemail. If the Forward Calls to Box is blank, it is set to go to the operator of the site where the user is located. To change the destination, enter the extension that you would like to receive the call. If zero is pressed and the other user does not answer, the call will be directed back to the original user. Select Save when the availability state has been configured. Power Routing allows users to create customized personal rules for call routing. Power Routing overrides availability routing. To create a Power Routing rule, click Create New Power Rule. In the Rule Name field, enter a title for the new Power Rule. In the When field, choose a combination of the following conditions to build a custom file for when to forward a call. Users have the options of number matches, dialed number, my availability, on the phone, and time is. As an example, I will choose number matches. Then select the type of number using the dropdown. Users have the options the number is, the number is any internal number, the number is any internal number starting with, the number is any external number, the number is any external number starting with, the number is private, the number is out of area or unknown. Once the parameter has been selected, add the number or numbers for the rule. Selecting the Forward Call To will show all options the user has to forward the call. The default is set to My Voicemail, but users can select other options using the dropdown. Users can choose to Auto Find Me, Announced Find Me, or Play Ringtone. If Play Ringtone is chosen, users can use the drop-down to select a ringtone from the list. Users can also choose to forward the call to another number or extension. Once all parameters are set, select Create Rule. Once a rule is created, it can be enabled, disabled, edited, or deleted. 
The voicemail section allows you to select play envelope information when listening to messages, change voicemail password, or record name for default greeting. To record the name greeting, select the record button. By default, the system uses the user's telephone microphone. Users can select to use a PC microphone by selecting the speaker icon. Escalations allow users the options of notify for first unheard message and notify for each new message. The user can create escalation profiles. To add an escalation profile, select Add New Profile. Name the profile and select how many times it repeats. The users can select steps. The options are Send Email Notification. If this is selected, add the email address to send the notification. Send Phone Notification. If this is selected, add the phone number to receive the notification. Escalation profiles can be added to availability states. The Outlook section is for email, the default Outlook integration. If a user does not want that notification, they can choose to unselect it. The IM section allows users to create canned responses for instant messaging. To add a canned response, type in the response and select Add Canned Response. User can also delete responses. The Outlook section in Settings allows users to select what is synced between Outlook and the Connect client. Under Calendar, users can select Sync My Exchange Calendar with my Mitel Connect, Availability Modes. When Outlook shows me in a booked meeting, switch my availability to In a Meeting. When Outlook shows me as out of the office, switch my availability to Out of Office. Your Do Not Disturb, Vacation, and Custom Availability modes will always take precedence and will not be affected. Use My Outlook Hours to switch my Mitel Connect availability to Out of Office. Under Contact, users can select Do Not Open Outlook when adding contacts to Connect, Sync My Outlook Contacts. Use the Contact folders to select contact folders to be imported or deleted. Users can enable searching for contacts in My Exchange Public Contacts folder. The Notifications section allows users to choose notification settings for voicemail, sounds, and pop-ups. Under Voicemails, users can select Send email notification about incoming voicemails to user's email address. This option sends a notification only, but no file when a user has a new voicemail. Attach voicemail as WAV file. This option attaches a WAV file to the notification. Mark voicemail as heard. This option automatically shows the voicemail as heard once the notification has been sent. This means the phone and Connect client will not show unheard notifications. Under Sounds, users can select the sounds that come from the PC for different events. Users can turn on and off audio alerts. If auto alerts are turned on, users can select an event. Event options are New voicemail Call from an internal number Call from an external number New IM message initiating conversation New IM message initiating an existing conversation Monitored call Shared line call Users can select No audio alerts for the event or Play alert for the event Users can select the audio played using the drop-down or add new sound this allows users to upload sounds to be used for an alert. Under Pop-up, users can select pop-up notification and duration of those notifications. For incoming call and incoming IM, users can select Show a system notification for and select how long the notification will stay on the screen. Under IM, the Show IM contact and notification can be selected or unselected. Incoming voicemail and screen share notifications can be unselected or selected. Under the Desk Phone section, users can change the wallpaper or ringtone for the user's desk phone. Use the drop-down next to wallpaper to select the wallpaper desired. Use the drop-down next to ringtones to select the ringtone desired. Users will only see the Soft Phone section if Soft Phone has been enabled. Under the Soft Phone section, users can select Capture Audio, then use the drop-down to select Device for Communication. On startup, assign me to my soft phone. This is selected when a user wants to use soft phone when logged in to the client. Enable auto gain control allows for the system to change gain on a call. The video section shows the default video settings. 
Under Permissions, the user can select when to join where the other party is using their camera. Users can select, Automatically start my camera without asking. Ask me if I want to use my camera. Never ask me, and I'll turn the camera on myself. Camera setup allows the user to choose what camera they want to use for video calls. Under the Telephony section, users can Choose maximum number of concurrent calls by using the drop-down. Suppress call waiting tone when I'm on a call. Suppress dial tone when I'm off hook in headset mode on an analog phone. Close contact card after call ends. Show access to routing slip and call note for each call in the dashboard. Users will only see the work group section if they are part of a work group. Users can select notification options under this section for the work group. Users can select Show me notifications when calls arrive in queue. Select how long the notifications stay on screen. Continue to show notifications while logged out of work group. Users can also set thresholds for notification. Next to the work group, users can turn on a threshold alert, alert when queue reaches or exceeds, add number of calls in queue, alert when queue to time exceeds, enter in number of seconds. Under the language section, users can change the language on the user's phone and connect client. Use the drop down next to desk phone and voicemail menus or I want to use this application in to select the language desired.